Now let's talk about some more cool stuff, server side rendering that actually got a bit smarter. If you don't already know, Angular 19 introduced something called incremental hydration, which is the groundwork that is becoming now more powerful. Well, some of you might be asking, what's that? It is actually the ability to hydrate the page in chunks rather than all at once. So your app actually becomes faster in that regard. If you remember, Angular actually introduced the defer block in Angular 19 in the developer preview. And then on top of it, you could use the hydrate statement to tell Angular when to hydrate your particular chunk. Well, now that it has been stable, you can now use it in production and see for yourself how performant things have become. Another cool thing about the server-side rendering in Angular is the route level rendering mode. And as you can see, you can decide it to be server-side rendering, pre-rendering, client-side rendering, or whatnot. But in version 20, this becomes more robust because in version 20, now you can prefetch parameters during the pre-render time. For example, rendering multiple product pages using their IDs ahead of time. And all of this means that you have fine grain control over your server-side rendering strategy. So you only do server-side rendering when it's actually required.